What's going on guys? It is your boy Joel TFD here. Welcome back at it again with a brand new review for you guys today. So guys, we're finally back at it again. Today we are doing the Code 8 part two review i'm actually really excited to talk about this with you guys honestly and i apologize in advance if this review is a little bit short but before we head straight into it make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you are new i'm trying to get to 750 subscribers before the end of the year and it will really mean a lot if you guys can help me reach that goal but we're also very very close to 550 subscribers so if you guys want to help me reach that goal instead that would also really mean a lot anywho let's head straight into the code 8 part two review so first things first, I want to say really quickly, I really do think this movie was a lot of fun. It was very enjoyable. I think it beats the first one just by a little though, honestly. And I think the reason why it does beat the first one just a little is because like, I felt like this movie didn't necessarily, it didn't feel like it was dragged on, but maybe it could be because I watched it in different periodic times, honestly. So it definitely felt a little tainted in some type of way. But other than that though, I thought it was really good. I really liked it. I really liked the whole story with King. Honestly, I thought it was a pretty cool, unique twist, honestly, throughout the movie and everything. And then I also like the character Pav, honestly. I really do like that character a lot. And of course, I like both of the MLs. They're freaking phenomenal, honestly. I really love their characters. I gotta say, I really, really like Robbie. Honestly, like I think Robbie's starting to grow on me a lot more as an actor because the only things that I've seen of him besides this is of course him and <laughs> the flash but like other than that though like I i'm starting to really enjoy his him as an actor honestly because he, he actually does so freaking good and stefan amell also but like i gotta give credit where credit is due man robbie is is killing it he really is honestly and i would love to see more movies of him honestly when it comes to other different type of genres maybe or just in general action like it doesn't matter i i'm starting to really like him honestly as an actor like seeing like different variety of stuff from him because like i really like his character like he's starting to help another character you know out which is pav and everything and then like dealing with the loss of her brother and everything and just kind of like trying to expose what king was doing basically like it wasn't the right motives like he was like covering everything up with like something about over saying and everything like that instead of just being straight up and like basically killing people like again i really like that story a lot it's definitely like a level up from the first movie 100 percent. but i would say it's still kind of even with the first one because i felt like the first one at least felt kind of refreshing in some type of way while this one it didn't feel refreshing but it still was a lot of fun to watch if that makes sense and i also really like the ending you know like connor decided to open up the school a little bit for mina and it was just a very wholesome moment honestly like i could see connor being that like character that he's always going to be helping people a lot and if they ever make a third one which it kind of felt like they were trying to lead to a third one i think i could see connor being that person to really really put his hands down and really start helping a lot more people out there when it comes to this type of stuff if they ever make a third one i wouldn't necessarily be mad honestly just because like i felt like the way they ended this felt like a pretty good ending if that makes sense but like if they ever make a third one I i'm definitely would be there honestly i would definitely like try to watch it the first day it comes out but yeah this movie was so good i really liked it honestly stefan amell i gotta talk about him at least a little bit you know i actually really liked the interrogation scene he did with king honestly i think that was like the best like scene from him honestly him just kind of like and then the knife turns at king and then he's like I wouldn't be like he said something about like i wouldn't touch that if i were you i thought that was actually pretty cool i just liked that whole interrogation scene honestly that was freaking phenomenal it was so good but yeah that is going to be my review for code 8 part 2 if you guys did enjoy this review hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you are new if you guys watched the movie let me know what you guys think did you guys like the movie did you guys think it was eh or did you guys not like it whatsoever i would love to start a conversation with you guys peace out guys for you guys too enjoy your day make everybody an awesome day everyone stay positive be positive you guys already know to have a positive mindset. Preach.